Okay, so I got back from my conference really late last night. Um, so just checking in on my worm experiment. Experiment. These are the room temperature white worms from Greg Sage. Uh, let's see. So it looks like one of the pellets is completely gone. So I had two pieces of kibble here. One and two. This is what I regularly feed my worms. I'm starting to see worms. Thank goodness. So here is where the chicken feed was. And wow, look at that. Worms are multiplying and feeding finally, so that's a good sign. I still have tons of whatever these little white critters are, but you know, if the fish can eat them, then I'm then I'm okay with them. A few um, kind of annoying fungus gnats, but um, their population hasn't exploded, and I hope they don't. And I don't see any mites, so that's good. But, um, yeah, look at how many of those I have. I don't know if it was the worms that ate the kibble or the little white things. Um, looks like worms, actually, when I zoom in. Not sure if my camera will pick it up, but yeah. Oh, those are definitely worms. So those are the heads of worms. Kind of coming up and eating it, so that's great. That means I can feed them my regular um, white worm food. Cool. And you can see they don't like that I remove the cover. Their little heads are like, ah, and are starting to retreat back into the soil, but that's really good. So on this side, I'm gonna keep feeding kibble. So that took two days to do. So um, I'm just gonna add a couple more and then this one is kind of fungusy so I'm going to take it out. There might be worms still eating the bottom of it though so I'm going to be really careful. Yeah, okay I didn't get any worms. One second. Okay so that's a really good sign. I'm going to put this back over here where the chicken feed was. Looks like a lot more worms. <laughs> and red wigglers. Wow, that's interesting. And what's also really interesting is that um, these guys don't appear to be super light sensitive. If this was regular white worms, they would have been um, back at the soil already. But wow, hello red wigglers. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I'm actually going to feed one of them, because this isn't going to be a culture for red wigglers. This is going to be a culture for white worms, so I'm just going to feed another one of these to Mr. Puff. <laughs> Yum. And that disappeared pretty quickly. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> okay. So yeah, they seem pretty insensitive to light because they're just literally, they've retracted a little bit into the soil, but they're pretty much just hanging out up here. The red wigglers were definitely more light sensitive. So, really interesting. Kind of fun to play with this new species. Hopefully it takes off. I'll probably still keep my regular white worms because I'm just really successful with them. Um, I just collected a bunch of my white worms and I was gone for two days. Um, so, yeah. But I'm gonna continue to feed chicken feed on this side and um, kibble on this side and see what happens. So here are the, gold, gold, um, the golden gardener that I moved right before I left. They look great. Really nice and colorful. Not shy about eating. I had a couple days to adjust before I came back. The Rayfield Fry are growing well. 
and the blue Galaris fry are getting quite large. I'm definitely gonna have to set up the 30 gallon tank at some point very soon <laughs> um, so that they have something larger to transfer into. But yeah, keep in mind, these guys are the same age as these guys, which is pretty amazing. Now that they're side by side, you can really tell the size difference between these two species. It's really, and these guys do, uh, had a little growth spurt after I put them in that tank. So you can really see how fast those blue glares and how aggressive they are uh, compared to their gardener eye cousins. Wanted to do a close up of the size difference again. Here are the golden gardener, and then keeping my camera completely the same distance from the tank, these are the blue glares. Especially if that big guy would come up again. This is definitely the dominant. I don't know if it's male or female. Hopefully they color up soon and then just pan back over to the garden eye golds. Huge size difference. They are looking great. Both of them are.